Greetings everyone, and great here with another Rolling 3 replay. Spawn on the bottom left side as the Scion allies, we have Yu Yu. Spawn on the top right side as the Blue Empire, we have 4 Del. As opposed to 3 Del. Uh, was that a misclick there? That may have been a misclick there with that MC pack up, repack up. Unless it's sort of strategy of repositioning right there? I doubt that. Do you now have multiple refiners people on field? I think it was a misclick because I think you, of course, want to use your instant dojo's pack up ability or deploy ability. It does get packed on up as well. That one's in purpose. He's making his way down south. We got a dog apparently jumping down the cliff right there. Acting like too much like me. Bit of a person who likes to jump up and down stuff. But I'm getting a little bit too old for that and heavy. You now got the Empire Engineer pulled out on the field, trying to make his way over to the Oil Derrick. Sign has claimed his Oil Derrick. We got some Peacekeepers here. And now we've got a third expansion being pulled out by the Empire player nice and early. We do have these uh, Peacekeepers advancing forward. We do have the Imperial Warrior standing guard. And does get the Oil Derrick claimed. Does already sell off the barracks or the Vincent Dojo. Now do got a mecha bay now being pulled out on the field. He's definitely gonna need some mecha tangus as well as now there's an air base here. Does get a javelin trooper. He placed it in a very particular location because he built walls around it. Ah, that's why. One of the power plant uh there as well. Your warriors do charge into the garrison in time. Notice this oil derrick will go down. Though he may be a little bit too close to the oil derrick, I think he may lose some of his peacekeepers to the explosion. Now it's trying to clear out the garrison now. And does not finish off the peacekeeper in time. And he will go and clear out the garrison or uh, clear up the oil derrick from the garrison. Or Derek has gone down to have a Mecha Tengu, as well as an Instant Dojo, as well as an Instant Generator. Got a Sea Dog, the 9th expansion, though the Mecha Tengu is going to finish him off quicker than the ATF can. And now, do got the Imperial Warrior maybe trying to charge into the garrison? I'm not sure how many Peacekeepers are inside. Got some check, those are quite a bit. Let's get transformed there now, engaging the Apollo at close range. Very, very good micro there by the Mecha Tengu. And now the Mecha Tengu will go down. And see, yep, we do got the auto with this charge there. Striker VX now pulled on the field. We got a handful of Imperial Warriors here as well. Defender Core is being set on up. We do got these Imperial Warriors being pushed on forward. Now do got some javelins onto that first drone in his very unique placement there. Do got another Empire Engineer. Is he trying to eye for the observation post or is he going to try to eye for this oil derrick? Unlike he's gonna get the oil derrick, so he must be eyeing that observation post. Yep, and based on saying uh pathing there. And he's gonna go ahead and walk into the observation post. And he's lost in the process. How do you lose the engineer in the process of capturing the observation post? Does he throw himself from the building after he captures it? So now I'm tanking now pushing his forward forward trying to harass this expansion. It do looks like we do got the heightened clearance being researched by the Wait, no, is this max clearance? 
Yeah, we got two bars here. That is going to be max clearance. He does go ahead and use Nano Flector there to absorb a lot of those Vindicator shots, but now we've got the Motor Gunner, I, uh, Motor Gunner turret taking out that tsunami tank. So max clearance almost deployed out on the field. Large number of Empire forces advancing forward. Let's get some damage onto those four, on those uh, Vindicators. Does shoot one of them down. Both of them do get shot down. Infantry so far push me forward. Do have fully automatic shotguns there. Dog goes advancing forward. Does get a great bark there. And does finish off another dog. Now the MCV is charging forward, trying to crush these stunned units. Does get another bark there. Can need even more of those guys. And crushed. Great uh, one two punch there, but now the dog does get run over. There's not the javelin troop there. So now tank charging forward, just crush those javelin troops. And now do got a good number of tank busters here. Javelin troops advance forward, crowd blast being pulled on out. And then pure warrior needs to start hitting that javelin troop there. So I'm thinking we're seeing a bit too much fire there. Strike BX does not take out the Vindicator. Once it lands on the ground, those extra missiles do not do any sort of damage. So I'm thinking those missed the crush there. Does take out the, out the Allied MCV. Allied Engineer could try hopping that barracks before it goes on down. Find just a run away. It could deploy out the medical tent to heal himself up. And now he's hiding behind that briefcase of his. That's where he keeps his tools and schematics. And probably his lunch. And does get run over. Briefcase still intact. War refinery now going on down. And the fully automatic uh, shotgun. Probably should have been decarrying a little bit of time ago to deal with these tsunami tanks. But does finish off that tsunami tank now. Tank buster does go down. Does get some shots on some of the other tank busters. And now I've got these uh, shark DXs. Most of them get shot down. He's transformed this when he can. And does get shot down as well. Do not have an aircraft, multiple aircraft carriers deployed on the field. As it's a hydrofoil, he still has a naval yard, which means he can still redeploy his MCB. Does lose some of those tank thrusters there. And now trying to escape the prospector. And he's going to rely on the aircraft carriers to provide some support. Does use now the there. I don't know if it's actually still technically active with EMP. I don't know if that interaction. It does crush that javelin troop there. So I'm thinking does get the refinery line, taking out this prospector now. Uh, I think it's going for a command hub, but I'm not so sure what he's doing. EMP missile raining on in. Ooh. I wonder if he was targeted directly on that. So I'm thinking so I actually did some tracking there. Because that seemed like it just all of a sudden just charged forward. Tsunami Tank does get the kill there, and we'll go down the aircraft carrier and explodes on top of the Javelin Troop. Over here, do got a good number of Tsunami Tanks advancing on the, out on the sea, trying to overrun the naval forces. He does have a Salt Destroyer here, and as well as two Hydrofoils help uh, screen for the aircraft carrier, so Weapon General will be useful. The Salt Destroyer may need to keep its main gun up and going, rather than use Black Hole Armor to help deal with these Tsunami Tanks. This one does see a bit of fire there, but now the just should heal him some. Heal himself up. Salt Destroyer is trying to push it forward with his main gun. Now we've got the Snow Tanks falling on back. Remember as well, the Allied player has lost his MCV. And his economy is still being harassed. Snow Tank does go down. There's still one more Snow Tank there. And let's see, he's not going for another MCV at the moment. Is we're just rely on what infrastructure he has and try to win the game that way. The Empire player has three refineries at the moment. This one up here is no longer functional. He's supposed to run advanced forward. This gets a good damage there. Takes out some of these hydrofoils. Takes out another one of the Riptides. Oh, got an EMP missile there. Takes and stuns some of these tsunami tanks. And do got another sortie reading on in. Gains some hits there or misses on those on that tsunami tank. This our 
refinery has gone down. Hitting these ground expansions is still being going to be very useful because if it takes out these expansions, that's permanent losses for the allied player. Though these slime tanks need to get in next to the destruction there to get some uh, honorable discharge damage. Needs a little bit more to finish off this one. I think the Tsunami Tank is going to be pushing forward to take out that one. He could try doing two attacks in total. These aircraft carriers are just playing, playing defense. And there is actually now an allied MCV. So he has rebuilt it, which means losing this is still a problem. But it won't be as big as a problem. Instant generator right there. Going for another expansion. Very nice. More Tsunami Tanks pushing way forward. And he's splitting up Tsunami Tanks there, trying to hit both refineries at once. Very nice. This one has been regretted quite a bit. He may just go straight for their ore refinery, not for the Prospector. Prospector started going down first. It does get the Prospector killed there. Very nice. And this Prospector was wounded, does take it out as well. Imperial Warrior advanced forward, could punch get some damage there. I guess the Maven EMP missile that rained on in, try to protect it. Now the EMP missile rains on in, stunning all these Tsunami Tanks. Cryo shot also people on the field. Oof. What defense drones do get destroyed there. It does take out all except for one of these Reptile or Tsunami Tanks. It does take out the refinery there. Tsunami Tank has been powered back up. This one is down as well. So the Allied players down to one expansion. So what are going to eye a turret up here? Uh, Allied MCV is right here. I think that is a yep, another refinery now pulled on the field. Replying up some of these walls, very nice. But that's sort of the wrong set of walls to pull up first. You probably want to go for this side first. Yari Mesa is coming for a nice little snipe on a power plant. Very nice. He's out the power plant and should be submerged relatively soon. Does get a uh, final voyage there, taking out these riptides, takes them both out. Very nice. Remember, this command hub is what's providing the uh, clearance. Sniping this command hub is actually very important to deny the technological assets. You may you may not be able to afford any more aircraft carriers, but denying assault destroyers could be just as important. And probably more important in this case. Right now, I don't think any additional aircraft carriers are needed. It just needs more screening ships at this moment. More Yaryumi subs advancing on forward. Because he needs... Another reason why he needs screens, he needs not only Riptides, but Salt Destroyers. Get a fully, another fully heroic aircraft carrier. Now got this. Oh! Does avoid the EMP missile there, and EMPs his other buddy, including the Salt Destroyer. That's when he focus this one down. He is actually splashing down, down this one. Does retask this one. Very nice. He could use Final Voyage with that wounded one. Yes, he does, and does take out the aircraft carrier there. And these can guard me some mobile enough to avoid the sorties. Salt Destroyer. Really wish he had learned how to use depth charges and final voyage and takes out the other aircraft carrier. Another takes on another power plant there as well. Very, very nice. Looks like this uh, refining has gone down, like to those aircraft carriers. Right now, can't tell the level of veterans C at the moment. Yaryu may sub advancing on forward. Let's see. Do we have, of course, some kind of airfield? The command hub's still up and going. That also does give tier 3 access and, probably more importantly, tier 2 access to the airbase. Such as so we can get cryocopters out. And if he really wants to, sentry bombers. But sentry bombers are unlikely.
Peacekeeper does go down there. And now gets refined and trying to well, expand and does find himself a really good kill there. And now he's going to try to go for more kills. Got Sunan, a Sunan think advance of four. Does have some Striker VXs to pull on the field and does get out another aircraft carrier now. Does take out point defense drone. And the ore collector is coming in at close range, like real men. Starting to take out some of these wall segments there. Does use now the fuck to escape on out there. Ore collector now engaging the prospector. Showing who's the real ore collector. But the master and shrunken oh, and crushed. I think the prospector would. <laughs> Of course, the Prospector had a cheat in order to win the fight, honorable 1v1 fight there. Oh, we got another Prospector here already built. That may have been a mistake. I think he's trying to build that out prematurely. Does get EMP'd as well. And now he's going to take down the freeze on the Striker VX, Elite Striker VX. Gets a kill there, very nice. Got now, I think, the Tank Buster Ambush. Gotta be careful not to get crushed by the Prospector. Try to go with the Crush there at the last moment. And Exotic Dog advancing forward. Gonna be playing Dig a Hole, right? And the dogs do clean up those two Tank Busters there. The last two will escape out into this garrison. And Hark One does reach far enough and does zap that dog in the ways the ATF wish they could. Peacekeepers are going down. Tank pistols are not that bad versus infantry compared to other anti-tank units. And now he will clear them out. Because it's still not that great either. Against infantry units. Got a good number of striker of uh, jet tangoos, as well as a couple of striker VX to support. Apollo does go down. Apollo does not go down there. All the Apollos will go down, but he does not save the Prospector, and now the crowd coffers will be pursued. Now, so I've got the Yari Mesa up once again. He needs to hit this command hub. This command hub is very important to, uh, item to kill. And does see a single bomb from that sortie. EP does connect. No, it doesn't. Well, connected to the water, but not with the Yari mini sub. Takes out that power plant now. Mecha Tengu is trying to back on and off. The command hub does go down as well. Yari mini sub, engaged an aircraft carrier. Yari Mini Sub does go down there. Hydra Foro does get some good damage onto these Striker VXs. Now I do have a pair of Shogun battleships to put on field. EMP missile connects with one the Shogun battleship. The other one gets a broadside on the aircraft carrier. Crow getting onto the Shogun battleship, but should freeze it, I believe. Rolls a hit, partial hit there onto that aircraft carrier. Now got the Shogun battleship's weapon jammed. He's going to be trying to get on out of there. He's going to need a bit more escort. The Mecha Tengus could try transforming down on them. Now we've got a Naginata Cruiser to pull on the field. We've got a bit of a screen. The Shogun Battleship speed bit of damage there. May just want to, since he's outnumbered, may just want to stick back, get some repairs until he gets some more friends. Maybe a Sea Wing wouldn't hurt just in case it's more Cryocopters. That's going to transform there, take out these Jet Tank or uh, Javelin Troopers, but looks like some of them do go down to the Motor Gunner IFB. The Motor Gunner Turret. Takes out that Mega Tango there. Now I got Tank Buster Ambush. He 
is going to receive some hits. Now we've got the Emperor's Rage right there. He did that a bit early. Didn't really go gauge on in. Now he's going to gauge. He's meant for engage aircraft, not the bodyguard turret there. Nice uh, play. He will lose these tank busters, however. You have, looks like now, three aircraft carriers. This one needs to stick back to that naval base get repairs. No point in pushing that one forward. You have some Yari mini subs being deployed out as escort. Could go for Naga, another Naginata cruiser. Mini sub will find dog and will go and torpedo the dog. Yari mini sub will get a great scout there. We'll spot the aircraft carriers. Maybe assume the one of the aircraft carriers got fully repaired, so we may not realize there's three out in the field. Up north, you do have the dolphins pushing way up north trying to harass this expansion. The ore collector can defend itself against dolphins. Now do got oh finds another horror finding trying to go for the expansion again but will fail again. Shogun battleship fires a broadside there. Multiple shogun battleships now pulling a field. He has a small escort of Yari May subs and and Naginata cruiser. He may want to get out a sea wing just to make sure a crowd cop is still but he has two crowd cops here that can completely neuter the shogun battleships. So some sea wings may be in order. Dolphins now report this naval expansion. The Orcrafter did not up the gun. He's just to get transformed as well. Dolphins do jump in the air. And somehow the Dolphins took less damage than I expected. And they do have EMP missile there. He does have now another Naginata cruiser on one less Yari mini sub. Sells off the expansion there. The war uh, mine only has 2,500 credits left, so if does apply a refinery there, it's basically only give them a depleted income. Takes up the uh, hydrofoil there, and there are four aircraft carriers, maybe too many. You got a good kills there on that Apollo. Taking out these sorty aircraft can be very useful in protecting himself, and he was actually hitting those wall segments there. What the hell? There are six aircraft carriers there. That's far, far too many. He needs more screening ships. Blue could advance forward and do some serious damage. Shogun battleships are better versus are good against this force. And he has a good number of uh yeah, he's actually out of hydrofoils. This is a huge uh mistake of his composition. Crowdcop is advancing forward, and he can shoot down some of these sort of aircraft. He's actually trying to sh maybe shoot them down now. He's trying to avoid the barrage there. He will lose the Naginata cruiser. Another Hydra forward plot on the field. It's, it's getting protected by that assault destroyer. The heroic cracker VX will go down. Or chopper VX. The other one will skip out of there. Looks like point defense drones has worn off. Alright, we'll get in the plot there by it thanks to a EMP missile. Multiple EMP missiles. And there's all the Shogun battleships now frozen. Yep, allies have a lot of good combinations when it comes to crowd getting EMP missile. No, oh, that, that's just a really powerful combo. Not really many combos, but just you can go for the phase ability as well. Picks up that one aircraft carry there, but I think losing that fleet makes it all the size of the game. I don't think there's a way he can get back in unless he gets some large enough striker VXs. There's now a good number of escorting hydrofoils here, but there's, and there's also a salt destroyer here to help protect the hydrofoils for anti aircraft versus. Yeah, I think this game's over. And now he's losing the Mecha Bay. And you need that tier 2 for Striker VXs. I've got a couple tank busters there. Plus more tank busters in here. 
Titan's carrier force is not advancing on forward at the moment. Blue's just going to counterattack. That's all he can do. He can't gauge that carrier fleet anymore. Hydro 4 pushing it forward. It does take out one of those tractor VXs. Naval Yard does go down. There's still an allied MCV here. He's low in credits. He actually has one depleted refinery, two depleted refineries uh, currently collecting. Those soon just be one. Science basically out of income at the moment. Does get an EP missile there, taking out all the. Sending all the. most of the Mecha Tengus. Sells off the naval yard there, very nice. The single tracker BX is going to be very important. He does have, of course, hydro foils, which are. at least one right there. Monogana turret still in the pressure deployed on out. Those are pure warriors inside. The pure warriors do go down. Both sides no longer have a foil derrick, if you're concerned about that in thumb. Both these are collecting. He's going for another mecha bay. He's need to get out tier two and get out some more striker VXs. Uh I am not sure where those missiles went. Taking out the power plants there. That he sells a power plant there, he's trying to knock out the power to take out that Mordegon turret. And that put us on low power. But doing jumping jacks right there is not great. Apollo Patrol 4 does have a good number of jet tangoos in the area. Axon up, so now he should try picking out that Mordegon turret. Going for the power plant wouldn't hurt as well. Bloom bombs been rained on in. I'm not sure what level that is. Maybe it's level 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, that may be level 2. I think that's level 2 balloon bombs. I don't really know how powerful balloon bombs are. I can really ever see them. They are good structure uh, pick uh, snipers, that's for sure. Because you can't stop their from coming down. You don't stop them from telling uh, where they come down. Got another group of uh, Pink Buster ambush. Single Riptide here. I Let's see, he's going for Mecha Bay upgrade now. Striker VX does transform and void any additional damage. He needs to get up a heroic as soon as he can so he can get health regen. Maybe this will get, killing off this guy here will give him health regen. And the uh, aircraft carriers are currently unescorted down south. There is a hydrofoil. And he needs, he needs to take out that uh, Riptide. He can't be losing the Mecha Bay core to a Cryogeddon. He does get it killed off. He was not paying attention right there. Uh, Empire MCV is still alive. I'm not sure how many credits he has remaining. He's out of harvester or refineries. More collector there. He could sell some infrastructure, maybe get out something. Hydrofoil's there. Going for the uh, aircraft carrier. You can sell off wall segments for extra health there as well. Let's drop a bomb there from the sorties, I believe. You start pursuing the aircraft carrier a little bit better. AP missile does get fired. Does destroy it before he any. Oh, that's a time bomb. That looks like a level one time bomb. It does point defense drone save him. Both defense drones save them, because it does nullify all further damage when they go down. As Baron Apollo is here, he will intercept them. He does have the veteran C and his numbers to take them on. Got one harvester there. He's down to one depleted harvester economy. Has two aircraft carriers. They need to stick close to the airfield, because one of them's a little bit wounded. Uh. Empire MCV. Let's take a look at the credits. He only has 700 credits remaining. You need a power plant to get out a refinery core. I don't think he can sell off enough to get enough money. He could sell off one to go for 
We'll go for the Dodrum core, set up a power plant, go for an engineer play. At this point in time, he just may want to, he could just go for a power plant, stick it somewhere to keep it safe. I know he doesn't even have enough credits to sell up a for a refinery. He does take up the last four there. Because I'll have some walls to so get out a power generator. Bloom bombs do rain on in there. Taking out the I think that was the command hub there, right? He does have access to final squadron as well. He has level one bloom bombs. Level two Emperor's Rage. That's sort of what he's gone for. His teammate, his opponent has Cryogen, of course. Level 2 Time Bomb and Construction Bomb. Vehicle at your service. Sells off the airfield there. It says, it looks like he's going to go all in with uh, barracks items. Though he has to keep the NCV alive. It's durable and he does not really have much else. And now got Fire Squadron coming on in. Good thing he did not sell off the NCV because it does right need the NCV still alive. Six does take up the barracks there. Very good. The Allied player is now down to the MCV with a thousand credits remaining, which can deploy on another boot camp and maybe something else. An ore collector there. He can perhaps group those ore collectors and Imperial warriors and try to advance onto land, take out the peacekeepers. So I'll put these wall segments there. Wait, that was science wall segments. Yep. Trying to collect up all the income he can get. 800 credits. He sold off most of his wall segments and got out for a power generator. Instant Dojo is. Going for a boot camp. Uh, looks like MC's packed him up. I think Instant Dojo should be the same cost as a barracks, which is 500 credits. So he can pass pull that out and maybe some burst drones? <sighs> he only has these uh, Mecha Tengus. And his Hydro Force is causing a massive shift. There's also a single Assault Destroyer yeah, right on the here. ground and also overall better protocols. He has Emperor's Rage available, Emperor's Vengeance, I should say. What's the levels even called? I never met, know the names. Retribution, Rage, and. Well, Revenge, and then Rage. Takes off some of these infantry units, very nice. Now it's gonna have to run away. MP and missile does connect with the ground. He has to deal with these. Oh, everything. Hydrofoil is pushed a bit too far forward there. Does get a critical pick there. Anything goes down as a pick. Oh. Your warriors started going down. And the tank busters does pick up these forces. Got another balloon bombs ring on in. These uh, balloon bombs can draw some fire, but they're not exactly the most mobile thing. Uh, that goes out right miss. Heroic peacekeeper there annihilating these imperial warriors. I don't think the empire player can win the game. If it was just the aircraft carriers, potentially. But there's a soldier shard in hydrofoils, and there's no way we can deal with them. And you can't deploy an instant dojo and just try to go for an engineer cap in the MCV because the MCV just needs to stay uh, packed up. Uh, so a single pulse still in the air, apparently. But that shouldn't pose a massive threat to the uh, Jet Tangoos, as so low health. It does pose a massive threat to this uh, single striker VX, so that is heroic. If he takes out these hydrofoils, that mecha, that uh, striker VX will win in the game. One, the hydrofoils is severely wounded. He may just need to go all in, charge uh, four of his uh, jet tangus, transform on top of the wounded hydrofoil, and try to run and scurry over the heroic one. He may try to line up protocols. Tank Buster's being plotted field. Does try to ambush the MCV, but does draw some fire from the aircraft carriers, as all he's doing. 
He could have pulled them up around here and do something, I don't know. Finds the Apollo there. That's one last threat. It's a minor threat. Final Squadron, all he needs to do is take out that wounded Hydrofoil with it. Remember, there are, they do have machine guns to scrape some damage. Get a pathetic amount of damage right there. MC is packed on up. He does have some Emperor's Rage. He can use Emperor's Rage as well to help him pick off the Hydrofoils. Now's the time to go for the Hydrofoils. Emperor's Rage can also, or Revenge can also slow down the Hydrofoils so he can pick them off. Point Defense Drones is very important. I can understand trying to get that up before trying to go for the dive. The MCP won't be uh, picked off so easily, though it has separated quite a bit from the Hydrofoils. Find some missiles there on the aircraft carrier. Denying EMPs can be very important as well. That denied an EMP. That makes it so this one here, if he gets uh, jumped down on top of, he may EMP himself and then all of his buddies. That is very critical, losing that aircraft carrier. Those EMPs is what those aircraft carriers are right now providing. And hitting the Soul Destroyer as well is a massive pick. Chrono Swap. Takes out the Striker VX. That is a massive loss there. Chrono Swap being incredibly useful there. But this Assault Destroyer is also wounded now. It can be picked off by the Mecha Tengus if they uh, dive in. Balloon bombs raining on in, drawing fire for the Hydro Falls. Now's the time to charge on in. Did lose one of those Jet Tengus. Dies on in. Does take out that. Needs to focus down the Assault Destroyer. Needs to focus down the EMP missile raining on in. Assault Destroyer does go down. And that may be game. Emperor's Rage there. Picking off all the escorts. Want to make sure there's nothing close threat to his uh, Jet Tengus. Final Squadron also go on in. And there we go. That goes down. Chrono Iron Bomb, he does plus forces there, does have Weapon Jammer, he just needs to keep two alive, and that's the end of the green play. The allied player did not keep himself grouped up and was picked off one by one. What a great game by both players. It's Sam Great saying, thank you for watching, on to the next replay.